This is the well-preserved mummy of a man who lived about 3300 BC. The mummy was found in the Alps along the Austrian-Italian border. X-rays revealed he had an arrowhead lodged in his left shoulder when he died. Further research found he had bruises and cuts to the hands, wrist, and chest, and cerebral trauma to the head. It is believed the blow to the head caused his death, though researchers are unsure if this was due to a fall or from being struck with a rock by another person. This is a mummy of a woman from the 5th century BC found in Russia. She was between 20 and 30 years old at the time of her death from unknown causes. She may have been a priestess based on the items found in her chamber. She has an animal-style deer tattoo on one of her shoulders and another on her wrist and thumb. She was buried in a yellow silk blouse, a crimson and white striped wool skirt with a tassel belt. A reconstruction of the Ice Maiden's face was created using her skull. These mummies were found in two grave sites on the coast of Greenland. They are dated to approximately 1475 AD. One woman had a malignant tumor near the base of her skull that most likely caused her death. The older child had a disease that afflicts the hip joint. The younger child, a boy about six months, appears to have been buried alive. Inuit customs at that time dictated the child be buried alive or suffocated by its father if a woman could not be found to nurse it. These three men were members of Sir John Franklin's failed Arctic exploration bid. When Franklin, an English explorer, mounted his third expedition to the Arctic in 1845, he had no reason to believe it would end in disaster. He believed he had enough supplies on board to last the length of the trip, but when his ships became stuck in ice, Franklin and all his crew perished. Scientists have concluded that hypothermia, starvation, lead poisoning from tin cans, and disease including scurvy killed everyone on the expedition.